What's up everyone? It's Jessica. Welcome to my channel. Okay. Okay. Let me explain this video for a second. <laughs> so I've decided to do a series. I kind of teased it a little bit. About a month ago, I did the palette tag, which was the video created by Ali Glines and Samantha March, who I adore here on YouTube, both of them. Basically, it was a bunch of different categories or prompts, and you would go through your palette collection for that video and share what was the newest palette, oldest, most overrated, underrated, ones that you had the happiest memories with, that kind of thing. And it was just a fun way to share about makeup. And so in that case, it was palettes. I thought, you know what? That's kind of a fun idea to go through other categories too. And so today we're gonna talk about my lip products. Uh, we're not getting into like lip liners and balms, but pretty much like my lipsticks, my lip glosses, things like that. So I've taken the categories from that original video and I've taken a few out, added a couple of others that are more lip product specific. I think this is just such a unique way to share different parts of your collection. I eventually will do a lip product declutter maybe in a month or two after I've shared all of this with you guys because I know as I was looking through my lip products, I was like, okay, there's quite a few in here that I really don't need to be holding on to anymore. So subscribe, stay tuned for that. I did just declutter my palettes as well. So I'll link all of that below. That's enough of a precursor to this. Let's dive in. Okay, okay. This was fun. I had fun just sitting at my desk with the categories and coming up with new ones and spreading everything out in front of me. And I have so many favorites. I have quite a few here that I'm just like, like I don't really love, so we'll talk about that too. Okay, first category is what is my newest lip product? And that would definitely be the Bobbi Brown oil infused gloss, the crushed oil infused gloss. This I literally just bought over a month ago at the Sephora VIB sale. This is a super comfortable, feels a lot like the YSL glossy stain stuff I have here that I love that I will fit in another category. It's just one of those kind of comfortable everyday type lip products. I have the shade New Romantic. I haven't found a product just like this in the drugstore yet. I'm on the hunt because this is definitely a formula style that I personally really like. It's not a sticky gloss, but it's not thick and it's not crazy pigmented. It's kind of a mixture of all of those. So definitely really like, I'm still playing with, but I think this is the same line that Emily Noel also loves. By the way, I got this water mug thing. Okay, I know I'm obsessed with buying like water <laughs> jugs. You know the big teal one I have that's like a whole gallon that I'll, you sometimes see in videos? Well, it's awfully big, okay? It's it's hard to like lug up and down stairs. Like for lunch, I go down to eat lunch and I'm carrying this big thing of water. So this one is a third of that, it's 40 ounces, so a little less than a third. And so if I fill this three times throughout my day, I will have drank an entire gallon. I'm like, that's not that bad. Whereas before I was using like smaller water things and I was filling it like eight times. I'm like, this is ridiculous. So. It's kind of perfect. It was like 20 bucks on Walmart's site and Dana Am was the one that I saw talking about these and I was like, and they had a lot of different like patterns too. It was really cute. Next category is oldest. This was a no brainer for me. The Edward Best lipstick is, I think Edward Best is still a brand. I don't know, it's, well, I know for sure. I've like never heard it talked about on YouTube. I think I only got it because it was on Hot Look and so it was like 50% off or something like that. I haven't looked at Hot Look or shopped on Hot Look in so long, I just realized. I used to shop on there for like discounted makeup all the time. This is my wedding day lip color. I will say this, the color was perfect. I absolutely love this color for me. Formula, awful for a wedding. It was moisturizing, which is great, but it just wore right off. Like in an hour, like at the end of the wedding ceremony, it was like almost gone. I'm like, so terrible choice for a wedding lipstick formula wise, but I loved the color. And you know what? It has this smell to it that's almost berry-like. I've never had a lip product that smelled like this. And so it's, I probably shouldn't wear it on my lips anymore. I don't know, but maybe. I really, really like it. I think the lipstick line itself is still sold. It's their ultra slick lipstick and the shade is Rose Demure. Whew, we went car shopping today. Uh, well, we went test driving today and I um, think we know what car we're gonna get because basically we got a newer-ish car a couple years ago and our other car, which was Tyler, originally Tyler's car, is absolutely on the fritz. So we're gonna give it to my nephew that'll be driving soon in like a year. And so we were test driving some and we found the Kia Optima Hybrid that looks really nice. So we're thinking about that one. We'll see what we actually end up getting, but that's all. That was my morning this morning. Very exciting. Actually, it was nice to get out of the house. <laughs> all right, most expensive. I have a tie. I had to look these up and it is a tie between the Pat McGrath lipstick. This is her Lux Trans lipstick in the shade Realness. I think I bought in like the Sephora at, in Orlando. This, I will say, is actually for just a standard lipstick that's really nice and creamy and pigmented. 
surprisingly comfortable to wear. The first time I put it on, I was in the car with my husband and I was like, oh my gosh. He's like, what's going on over there? <laughs> I'm like, this lipstick, man. It's so like creamy and comfortable. Like it's a nice lipstick. You're definitely getting a good product for a crazy high price tag. By the way, the price tag is $38. But the one that's tied for it is this YSL lip product. It is their Rouge Volupte Shine. I have the shade number eight. Very different. This is not a traditional lipstick. This is more of like a glossy balm type product, which is definitely my cup of tea, okay? If you saw my recent drugstore dupes video I did, I found two dupes for this. So definitely check that out and uh, you'll see what they are. They're almost exactly the same. And so I love this but you definitely don't need to spend 38 freaking dollars on it. Now, on the other hand, my most affordable would be the Nivea Blackberry Lip Care. I think this is like $2, $3, depending on where you get it. This was another Emily Noel made me buy it type product. And it's just kind of like a comfy lip balm with a little bit of tint. I remember, this is just coming back to me. My mom had this tinted lip balm she kept in her purse all through my childhood. I swear to you, it was the same one the whole time. And like, Ten, you know, 10 years of my childhood. And I remember being a kid and not knowing it was tinted and I'd put it everywhere and it'd be like all over my face. But I remember thinking even then, once I realized it was tinted, I'm like, why would you want a lip balm that has color? And now as an adult, I'm like, I get it. Cause you want to look a little more put together, but you don't want to go through the rigmarole of like lining your lips or wearing lipstick and worrying about it. Anyway, I totally get it, mom. I love this stuff. It smells like freaking blue Kool-Aid. It smells exactly like blue Kool-Aid, you guys. Oh, I love it. It's such a great purse lipstick or lip product, if you will. And this is such a good one, you guys. It is such a good one. I haven't worn like lipstick, lipstick, like brightly colored lipstick in a long time, ever since I got the Invisalign, because it gets on them and it's just not as easy to deal with. So I'm like, okay, it's just not worth it. This is just gonna be a year of my life where I really don't wear it. I really do miss color lipstick. So I can't wait till these are off so I can get back into it. Okay, everyday lip product. What is my everyday lip product? And it would be these Revlon glass shines. And so my favorite shade is Nude Illuminator. I know I've talked these to death lately because they're newer to me and they're exciting. You know, it's a newer launch. These are just comfy, glossy balm type products. This one is glossed up rose and they're just, they have so many colors. They have brighter colors, bolder colors. You can find one that you would like for you and your skin tone, your lip tone, whatever. But I just think these are lovely. I genuinely think they're so lovely. They're comfortable. Again, you don't have to wear a liner with them, but it definitely looks a little bit better when you do, especially depending on how bold you're going. But I think this is one of Revlon's like best launches in a very, very long time. Okay, <laughs> this category was a little bit of a stretch, most colorful. So with palettes, that was, you know, obvious. But with this, I thought, well, maybe like boldest, maybe the boldest lip color I have or the brightest. And so I think the brightest, boldest color I have is from Maybelline. This is their Superstay Matte Ink in Dancer. And I don't even wanna put it on my, I'll swatch it fast, but it will stain. These last a very long time, but this is a, nice bold red it looks amazing on though like if you like red lips this is one of my absolute favorites see i can't wait to wear red lips again actually i will say i did wear this in disney pre-covid and everything i did wear this in disney with my invisalign and it really didn't get on it so if you're i don't know if you've got that same problem you might really like the maybelline uh superstay matte inks but i love this line and i really like this color dancer it's such a pretty flattering red. Okay, best memory, I can't find it. And I'm so sad, I know I have it. I know I've not gotten rid of it, but I don't know where it is. So it is the Marc Jacobs Lamarck Lip Color Lipstick in the shade O'Malley. It's a nice blue toned red. I have another one here, but this one's in the shade Infamous, which is more of like a mid-toned pink. That shade O'Malley, it, the reason it's best memory is because I brought it with me on our honeymoon. And so we were in Paris and I just remember wearing red lipstick every single day there. And so now anytime I wear really any red lipstick, my husband says, oh, it makes me think of Paris. And so then that makes me happy and it makes me happy that it makes him happy. So it's just a very, very happy thing. I guess red lipstick in general, but especially that particular one. So I will probably never get rid of that lipstick, assuming I find it. I have a feeling it like rolled under the seat in our car. I tend to find a lot of lip products that way. But the formula of these are nice. They're very pigmented. They're pretty creamy, but they actually stay in place. Um, so they're still decently comfortable. You know what I mean? I never worried too much with that lipstick as a red lipstick. I never worried too much about it moving around. Okay, this category, worth the hype. I think that the Buxom lip glosses are 
absolutely, absolutely worth the hype. Here's the thing. <laughs> if you are aging, well, okay, technically we're all aging, okay. If you are either someone that has aging lips or you're someone like me that no matter my age, I have just very lined lips. Like I just always have, even when I was a kid. These are my best friend because sometimes like I just feel like so many lip products can make can just kind of emphasize that these because they have that slight plumping effect. I feel like it just makes my lips look literally plumper, healthier, but it's not outrageous. It definitely has a little bit of a tingly feeling, but it's not outrageous. I've certainly tried ones that are like over the top tingly where you're like, oh my gosh, I can't focus on anything else, you know? The one thing I would change about these is they have a smell that initially for quite a while I like. Honestly, because I've used these for years, I'm just kind of tired of the smell. I kind of wish they would either change it or get rid of it altogether. It's kind of like a sweet coffee cake smell and sometimes it makes me feel a little nauseated. Worth the hype. So the two shades I have here is Celeste. This is one I think Jamie Page had talked about. No, I know Jamie Page talked about. And it is this gorgeous, like almost glittery, gloss that looks so pretty over other things and actually this is a really good one if you don't own any of these because you can use it in so many different ways you could wear it alone but you could also put it on top of a lot of different colors and it'll plump and it'll kind of even out your lips and stuff like that but it'll also add a nice shine the other shade i have is claire which is deeper and it's got some like actual bit of color to it so i've owned a lot of these over the years and i i think they're awesome this one's gonna be controversial <laughs> Not worth the hype. What lip product is not worth the hype? Now, I'm going to say this with a little asterisk, okay? I don't think MAC lipsticks are worth the hype. However, I do think some of the MAC lipsticks are good. So it's not that I think every single one is bad. I obviously own some that I bought with my own money, you know? It's just one of those things that I think for years and years and years, anything MAC made, people said, was like incredible, top of the line. But now there's so many brands out there making all different kinds of everything that there's just a lot of competition. Now, the reality is MAC, even though I would consider it a high-end brand, their lipsticks are a little under $20, which when you start comparing it to brands like Pat McGrath, that's nearly $40. And you know, Marc Jacobs is nearly $30. It's certainly less expensive than a lot of other brands. So it's kind of in this middle range. My favorite shade is from their Luster line and it's in Patisserie. It's just a very, I mean, I know I know all the shades I'm talking about here are like the same. I clearly know what I like and that's okay. I also bought Yash because I'd heard a lot about it on YouTube. It's one of their mattes and this is a line I just don't love. And also I don't, I haven't really worn this yet because I bought it in this era of Invisalign. I'm like, why did I buy a lipstick that I can't, anyway. And then I also have Modesty, which I do like, and this is one of their cream sheens. So the Luster line and their cream sheen lines are like the lines I like the best. Probably cream sheen is my favorite. Their matte ones, I'm just, I don't know, man. I just don't love them. So it's just kind of one of those things that I think there's just as good of lipsticks at the drugstore. Like, honestly, the, the Color Sensational Maybelline line has such a good range of colors, and I think they're very similar formula-wise, and they have different lines, like a matte line, you know what I mean? And so I just think you can find comparable at the drugstore. This is kind of a fun category. So favorite lippy from a favorite brand. I'm going with, where did it go? The Milani Bold Matte Lipstick in the shade I Am Happy. I'm specifically talking about this color. This is such a unique color for me. It's like not red, it's not orange, it's not peach. It's like if you mix all those colors together, I've never owned a lipstick this color. It's kind of, I don't even wanna say corally because it's got a little more red to it and pink. Like it's just, it is so unique. And every time I've ever worn this, I definitely wear it with a lip liner. But every time I've worn this, I always get questions about what's on your lips. I've never seen a color like that. I'm like, I know, let me tell you about it. So yeah, the shade is I Am Happy. It's number 13. And I just think it's a matte formula, which is not always my favorite. It is a little bit creamier though, but it is still more of a matte. So just keep that in mind. Honestly, it's kind of more satin matte than anything, but I think it's a pretty good line, especially if you find a shade you like, but I particularly think that this shade is... All right, my most used product lip wise is definitely this. And I hate to say it because it's a pricey one, but it's my most used. This is the YSL Liquid Color Balm in the shade number 12. It's such a lightweight liquid balm, again, similar to the Bobbi Brown one, but 
it's just so comfortable, you guys. I put it on and it melts into my lips. I just feel like it makes my lips look healthy. It's comfortable. You don't need a mirror. I don't worry about it. It fades evenly. Like, it's just one of those... I absolutely do not need to think when I put this product on. And I know it's expensive, but it's one of those things that it's lasted me like a while and the packaging is so pretty. I feel so sassy when I'm using it. Just for a while, this was under my car seat and I my husband found it recently and I've never rejoiced harder because I could not find it for so long. It's like the land of the long lost lippies. All right, so my most underrated would definitely be these Dose of Colors lip glosses. This is one that I talk about to death, but I never hear anyone talk about. I and Maybe I'm crazy. Do you guys hear people talking about them? I think this is the best, or at least one of the best, lip gloss formulas out there. It is creamy. It is moisturizing. It is just like one swipe of beauty. Like it just... It just feels like pillowy plump when you put them on your lips. It's got this perfect vanilla scent that's not too overpowering, but it's definitely there. Oh my gosh, it is absolutely a luxurious, lovely lip gloss. It's like 17 bucks. This is the shade Just My Type. I also love Messy Bun. That one like exploded. There was something wrong with the cap. So I ended up throwing it out and <laughs> I might buy it again because I really do miss it. But it is probably my favorite lip gloss formula. And I just don't hear a lot about it. So highly, 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 highly recommend. Not sticky, just... I promise you, if you buy one, the first time you put it on, you'll be like, I get it. Okay, like, so this is where we're, I'm adding some more categories here. What is my most nostalgic slash makes me think of like old school beauty YouTube product? And I had to go with the NYX Butter Glosses. These are just like this and like the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream were just like the thing back when like, like in 2013 when I was first starting my channel and I was watching, I mean, I still am watching tons of YouTube. And I just feel like everyone was talking about these. They were less expensive. People could get them at Ulta. So I have the shade Creme Brulee. And it, you know, it's a gloss, but it's a little more sheer, but there's definitely some color. They were comfy. This is the shade Tiramisu. Yeah, so Tiramisu and Creme Brulee. They have a slight sweet scent, but again, nothing overpowering. They're kind of cute. So I, I think they're great. I mean, there's a reason I own two of them now again. <laughs> I think they were still worth that like old school YouTube beauty hype and it's so cool that they're still around. I feel like a lot of the products that were big back then aren't still around. So it's nice that these are. I feel like we live in an age where like every brand is like discontinuing things like after two years just to replace it with virtually the same thing under a different name and different packaging. Okay, most disappointing. I'm gonna name two of them really quickly. This one was my own darn fault because I didn't know anything about it, I just picked it up. It's the NYX Candy Slick Glowy Lip Color. I picked this up, I don't know, probably four or five months ago on a whim. And upon first glance, you're like, oh wow, okay. It has this really awful like kids candy smell, not in like a Fenty good way, in a mm, smells fake way. And it says it's supposed to be glowy, but you put it on your lips and it just kind of skips around and then it gets sticky and then it just disappears. It's weird, you guys. I've only used it like twice and I was like, um, no, 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 no. So I, I just think this is a dud. This is definitely eventually gonna be decluttered. There's no doubt. And then the other one I've talked a bit about, but the House Labs La Riot Lip Glosses, they're fine. You put them on, they feel like a gloss. There's a little bit of color. This is the shade Venus, but the color wears away in like an hour. I've never tried a lip gloss like this. It's very bizarre. And I also don't love the doe foot applicator. It's like a, I don't know. It's like a pyramid kind of. Anyway, I this was very disappointing and this was not cheap. It was like 18 bucks. Most unique. So I figure with this, it could be color wise, it could be formula wise. I'm going with most unique formula. These are the Lancome La Absolute Lip Lacquers. I have never, ever, ever tried a product like these. Now this, I think like the lighter colors are fine, but I think where this shines is the bolder colors. So this is the shade number 168. And what's weird about these is that they're a glossy feeling, but the color stains your lips. Now I don't, I feel like that scares people. I don't want it to scare you. You put it on and it like stays glossy and it stays colored, but it doesn't like wear outside your lips like at all. And on top of that, after it's been on for a little bit, it doesn't move outside your lips at all. And it stays glossy and full color. It's like if you took a liquid lipstick and turned it into a balm that still stays balmy and colored and in place, you get this. 
I don't know how it works. Like I'll wear this and four or five hours later, I'll rub my lips together and it still looks like this and feels like this. I, I can't explain it. So this ends up being something I travel with. Like I almost always bring this with me because it's such a pretty bright color that I don't really need to worry about. I don't have to touch it up. It doesn't get super dry. You can see it already stained. And so even as it wears away, the stain color is there. So the one thing is if you get one of these in any color, you definitely want to put a couple layers on. So I'll put a layer on, wait a minute or two, put another layer on. Depending on how pigmented I want it, I might even put a third layer on. So just keep in mind, you I would say layer it to get a little bit bolder of color, but I think it's unique and I freaking love it. All right, next one, just for fun, best smelling one award definitely goes to the Fenty Beauty lip glosses. This is my favorite shade, Fussy. I got rid of the other shade I had because honestly, I was only reaching for this one. It is, it's what I'm wearing today. It's super, super glossy. I I love this lip gloss formula. I think I'm actually running low. It smells like Bonnebelle, like lip glosses. I can't explain it. It is the best smelling lip product I own. It is my favorite smell. Oh, I love it. If I ever ran out of this, I would buy it again because again, this is one that's easy to throw in the purse and mm, and it's moisturizing, it's not sticky, it's a very good gloss. So that's everything. I've always liked like the videos where people like take their whole collection and they rank like all of their highlighters or they rank it, but I've never been able to do that. Like even in my head when I would do it as an exercise, like okay, if I were to like rank these top, you know, top 10, it's so hard for me because some of them, you know, in any category, so many products just serve different purposes and that's where I always struggle. So this is a great way, at least for me mentally, to wrap my head around sharing more about my collection but without having to rank everything. Anyway, let me know what category you'd like to see me do next. If you haven't seen my palette version of this, like I said, I will link it up in the eye and down below. And of course, if you wanna watch my declutter of my palettes that I just did, I did it old school style. If you've seen my declutters from years gone by, I used to do it on the floor and I haven't done that in a while. So I did it like old school floor freaking. It's 2013 declutter, I just love it. Anyway, I will also link that video, of course, down below. And if you did enjoy, subscribe for more of these kinds of videos and so much more. And I'd love to say hi to you on my social media. It is at It's Jessica Braun, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.